My name is Chad Everett, and I've got a secret. From Hollywood, the show that reveals all, I've got a secret. And now let's meet the star of I've Got a Secret, Steve Allen. Good evening and welcome to I've Got a Secret. Tonight's panelists are one of the stars of the movie, The Brothers O'Toole, and a real pussycat. That's a long title for a movie, Pat Carroll. And next is that wise old owl, Gene Rayburn. That's me. And next to the owl and the pussycat is our little songbird, Anita Gillette. And last on the perch is our dicky bird, Richard Dawson, and there's our panel. <laughs> We officially welcome you back, Gene, from... Thank you. Hey, listen, I'm Archie. delighted to be here. Now that I'm uh, uh, kind of uh, in the halfway in the book-selling business, uh, when is your new book coming out, uh, Curses? Alan's Curses, it'll yeah. be out, I think, this week. Is that the kind of book where somebody says, you dirty rat, that And it kind tells of you why people say that. It's all about cursing. Oh, Thank you, and, and I hope you sell the copies in your bookstore up in... The... We're going to do it in Osterville, Massachusetts. Right, and now on with our program. <laughs> now that Gene and I have made our dollar like for the week... I'd like to mention a hamburger, Stan. <laughs> you cannot plug your hot dog, Stan. I'm sorry. Let's get a contestant out here for Pete's sake. Okay. Have you with us, sir? Would you tell the panel your name? Wolfgang Bayer. Wolfgang Bayer. Mr. Bayer is uh, a well-known producer of wildlife films. Is that true, sir? Mm -hmm. And he was, in fact, the executive producer for Bill Burrard's uh, Animal World TV series for seven years at least. And his secret, in fact, this evening, involves uh, the subject of a special film that he's just put together. So if we whisper your secret to me, Mr. Bayer, we'll let the audience in on it. Uh-huh. Cool. Very interesting. Okay, panel, Mr. Bayer's secret, as I say, concerns the subject matter of the special film that he's just made. We'll start the questioning with Gene Rayburn. Yes, sir. Wolfgang, do you have relatives in Hoboken? <laughs> no. Uh, no. <laughs> this secret, uh... Is anyone other than yourself on this stage involved in it? Yes. And is it someone sitting near me? Yes. Is it this lady on my right? Yes. You have to get used to that. It's a remarkable star, Gene. Gene has been working panel and, and uh, tricky shows like this for so many years. He sees what kind of things we pull. And Intuition. I, I, I can't. I'm, I'm just, I was going to think it was about animals, naturally. But well, I thanks a lot, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, that's swell, honey. Well, we are of the animal <laughs> certainly are animal as opposed to, to vegetable, so it's a bad pat. Some of you are animals and a couple of you are vegetables. <laughs> now, no is, names, please. Is, is, it about, is it just about pat? Uh, no. Could, could it be about anybody else? It could be, yes. yes. Not me. No. Possible. <laughs> I'm in the... Oh, dear. I don't want to go on. I, I really don't want to know. That's all right. Well, Richard Dawson will go on for you then, Richard. Mr. Bayer. <laughs> <laughs> So they really make films with animals, these girls, did they? <laughs> <laughs> you just me. I guess, is it, a, is it a film that involves a whole panel? Or a series of films involving all That's of them? That's the idea, yes, Richard. You've what, substantially got... What, I just heard about that room, sir? <laughs> is that the secret? I don't know. It's a Yeah, it's a Mr. Bayer's secret, as you've just about figured out, is that he took movies of you, but with a hidden camera. And I say all of you except Gene Rayburn, because Gene just got into town, and we didn't have a lens long enough to reach back to Cape Cod. Uh, incidentally, uh, I'm curious to see Mr. Bayer's film, because, as you've already mentioned, uh, he specializes in wild animal life, you know. <laughs> and we want to see how wild it is out in your neighborhood. So we're going to see now what happened when he stalked the native haunts of Genus Pinellas. And what's the first film, sir? Well, as an animal life photographer, Pat Carroll reminded me of a mother hen. <laughs> and I, well, and I found her in the charge of a large brood of school children one afternoon. School children. Yeah. All right, let's see what we find on the film. We should be able to see. There it is. 
Where were you, Pat? It, at a firehouse. This was, oh, that is amazing. This was a field trip that the children from Beverly Hills Catholic School took at one of the local uh, fire departments. You know, they so many times let the children come and climb over the machines. There is one of the firemen. Oh, this is so darling, this nice fireman. Oh, he's putting the hat on me. I have a new job. Isn't that marvelous? <laughs> but, you know, they let the children get on and, and blow the horns, the air horns, and, and they explain all the equipment to them. It's really quite marvelous. I think it's great that a city cooperates with the youngsters this way. And I was asking more questions than any of the kids, and he thought I was one of the teachers. Ah. <laughs> Had you any idea that you were being uh, photographed. No, not at all. I would have dressed nicer. <laughs> where, uh, I don't understand. Where, where, where were you, Wolfgang, taking these pictures? Where were you? Across the street? Across the street behind a uh, brick wall with holes in it. Oh, oh how marvelous. Oh, my goodness. The old brick wall with holes in it. Yeah. 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 What's the next film, Wolfgang? Well, animals in the wild love to play, and that's what we found Anita doing playing. And he uh -oh. was playing. Let's see what With she was whom? playing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, on the tennis court. Ah. Oh my gosh. Oh, where did you get that? Where was it, Danita? That was on a, on a tennis court. It was the Saul Turtle Tom's tennis court where I uh, play. I take lessons from my teacher, Dave Engelberg. And there I am. Oh, I can't play yet. Oh, you're a regular Chrissy Everett. Look at that. <laughs> Three planes landed while she was waving that thing around. You didn't hear what I was saying when I missed, I hope. <laughs> well, you do it without a ball. It's much better. <laughs> go get it. Go get that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it should make Australia feel quite secure for another year. And slow motion. <laughs> oh, look, so slow. Motion. Wow. <laughs> How long have now you been Now I playing? can see what I do wrong. Uh, oh, good job. Oh, good job. Good job. Backhand curl up. That's it. Oh, boy. How long have you been playing, Anita? About a month. <laughs> very good. You run very well. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Here she is playing with Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> where, were, where were you, Wolfgang, while you were doing that? Oh, in the bushes. In the bushes. In the bushes. <laughs> in the bushes. Now we have another film, I assume? Yes. Uh -huh. Usually adult animals teach the young ones. But it was the other way around when I sneaked up on Richard Dawson's as he was monkeying around in the backyard. Monkeying around in his backyard. I can explain that. Oh, with his son, yes. On the old trampoline. You muck quite well, Richard. Oh, yeah, this is fire drill in my heart. <laughs> I show him how to do that, and then I set fire to him. <laughs> uh, how did, but oh, there he goes. You're inside my garden. <laughs> yeah. I hadn't been well in that other shot. And you hadn't shaved either. <laughs> I think your son is teaching yeah, you. That's Gary. Gary, yeah. he's marvelous at it. Actually, children often do this. It encourages the old men to shake the loose change out of their uh, pants, you see. <laughs> I just wonder how he bought a new car. You're probably right. <laughs> That's my other son, Mark. Because <laughs> I wasn't always... <laughs> I wasn't always that good. <laughs> Incidentally, just so you won't... You won't think that actors are too peculiar. That chimp does not really hang around Richard's <laughs> house. Uh, we put in a little film that you took at the zoo, was it? Los Angeles? Los Angeles Zoo, yes. Yes. Well, now... Uh, Good idea. Yeah, I, ju I just want to know how do I know where that trampoline is in my house. So you had to be in, the in my garden. Yeah, and your right? dog almost got me. There? <laughs> oh, she's a killer. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Wolfgang. And join us again soon. I've got a secret. We'll continue in just one minute. A tantrum. Now, let's get another contestant out here. What's your name, sweetheart? Joy Moranville. Joy? Moranville. Moranville. Do you know Rabbit Moranville? No. That's a big rabbit that was named Moranville. <laughs> Nineteen, you old-timers wouldn't remember. How old are you? Twelve. Twelve. And where are you from? 
Bolton Landing, New York. Bolton Landing. Panel, Joy was in uh, New Zealand not terribly long ago visiting relatives, and she and her father and her uncle went out uh, to sea in a little 12-foot rowboat. And her secret concerns something unusual that she did while she was on that boat. So if you'll whisper your secret to me, Joy, we'll let the audience know what it is. Oh, oh. Thank you. I repeat, her secret concerns something very unusual that happened while she was out in the rowboat off the coast of New Zealand. We'll start the questioning with Anita. Okay. Uh, Joy, did you do this thing all by yourself? Well, she was with her father. You were with father. your father. Uncle. But what you did, you did, uh, did you use anything, any kind of equipment when yes. you were doing this? Yes. Was it in any way scientific? No. Not in any way of experimentation. Was it, was it something that was fun? Yes. It was more like an amusement? Well, uh, the secret itself might not be accurately described as fun. Aha. Uh -huh. Richard. Ha. Huh. Did you wrestle with a killer whale? <laughs> no. <laughs> Did it, was it anything to do with danger? Would something happen to the boat? Uh, there was definitely danger yeah. involved. And uh, I'll have to tell you, Richard, that you were very warm just a moment ago. <laughs> oh. I get these hot flushes occasionally. <laughs> I guess it's all day. Now, what happened? Is it something to do with a big fish? And yes. you, were, did you go overboard? No. Did the fish come on board? No. <laughs> They'll do that, you know. Anything to meet a pretty girl. <laughs> I rest my case. I'll speak to you later. Right. Thank you, Richard. Back here. Joy, uh, since uh, Richard just said something about a whale, and this did entail danger, would it have to do with sharks? No. Porpoises? Yes. Porpoises? There were porpoises. There were porpoises, but they have nothing to do with the secret. Oh, nothing to do with the secret. <laughs> were, you, were you endangered in the boat by the animal that yes. you encountered? Yes. Well, porpoise is really a very nice and playful, so it wouldn't be the porpoise. Was it a human being? No. No, you can trust your uncle. There's nothing wrong. Oh, all right. <laughs> this fish wanted you to go swimming with him, right? <laughs> no. Were you fishing at the time? Yes. And you got a big fish? Yes. And the fish almost pulled you in the water? Yes. Now, if you could identify that big creature... Oh. Which really uh, has see. been identified, if you can put all this together... A turtle? Oh, <laughs> And Richard Dawson repeats... A whale. A whale, whale right. A whale. Yes. You caught a whale. <laughs> you see, when you cooperate like that, panel, it shows that four heads are not nearly as good as one. So watch your step. Well, what did you do? Use a porpoise for bait, Joy? Mm -hmm. No. Well, we saw, we saw porpoises swimming around, and I thought they were sharks, but they weren't. And my uncle said, oh, don't worry, they're just porpoises. So then I told my father to bang on the edge of the boat, and I said they, come, they usually come to noise, and all of a sudden my pole started bending over the bow of my boat. <laughs> oh, I was going crazy, I didn't know what to do. I was hanging on like anything, you know? And all of a sudden this great big blue whale comes popping out of the water. Blue whale. Wow. Yeah, I bet you turned blue yourself when you <laughs> saw it. Just about. Did your uncle drink a little, uh, John? <laughs> <laughs> how big was the whale? About 35 feet. Wow, and how well, close how to the boat was he? Oh, about nine, ten feet. Wow, right up next yeah, to the boat, a giant He whale. could have tipped you over. Yeah. Sure well, stay could. out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> well, Joy, we're glad you survived that experience and were able to visit us today. Be careful next time you're yeah. out fishing off New Zealand. Thank you. We'll be back with our guest star, Chad Everett, right after these messages. Now let's meet tonight's celebrity guest who stars in Medical Center, that fine show on CBS, Mr. Chad Everett. Here he is. Oh. Have a lot of friends out there. Yeah. We're happy to have you here, and I've got a secret, Chad. As you can see, we've sent the panel off to the sauna room, the soundproof room. <laughs> which uh, gives you the chance to explain your secret without their hearing. And your secret, I am uh, told, involves something called a touch-tone telephone and a talking computer. Is that the idea? That's right, Steve. The uh, uh, computer is actually uh, about 3,000 miles away in the Bell Laboratories in Homdale, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's uh, being used experimentally to help to teach uh, reading to five- and six-year-olds uh, in the uh, Red Bank Primary School in uh, mm -hmm. New Jersey. And uh, someday a computer like this may be 
uh, teaching children all over the country. Yeah. Sounds very exciting. How does it work? Well, uh, this is kind of important to it. Uh, every student has a, a lesson book like this. Uh, sure, I'll show and, that uh, to yeah, our camera yeah, when yeah, you're telling us about it. When the uh, uh, child uh, telephones the computer, it asks him questions about his lesson and mm -hmm. tells him if he's right or wrong. I see. So then your secret is that the teacher is a computer. Is that the idea? That's it. Okay, sounds simple enough. Let's bring back the panel. Okay, Johnny. And while we're waiting, Chad, we <clears throat> congratulate you again. I mentioned uh, Medical Center introducing you, of course. That show's just going on year after year, isn't it? Well, we've been very fortunate. We've had a lot of good help from a lot of fine people, including your wife. Pardon me, Chad and Steve. <laughs> Panel's on its way in. Oh, thank you. Yes, Nurse Everett does send her, uh, her love. Now, Nurse Chambers, I mean. Yes, I'm Chambers it is. Right here. Nurse yeah. Everett, I'm Don't all right. Don't tie us up too close together, is <laughs> it? Okay? <laughs> I gotta get some sleep. <laughs> panel, right. you know Chad. Chad, oh, you know Chad. the panel. Yeah. So, I really enjoy you guys. You really do. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> Especially candidly. <laughs> <laughs> Chad is going to uh, do something pretty wild now, Pam. It's going to demonstrate an experimental new um, service, I'll call it that. Uses this telephone of the kind you see right there in the center of the stage to help teach children how to read. And his secret concerns the teacher. Okay, it's the teacher. We'll start the questioning with Richard. Your secret that we're trying to find out is connected with that telephone, Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You teacher. dial a certain number and reach a voice? Yes. Yeah. 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 A voice like, Hi, I'm Robbie the Robot, or a little lighter if you don't want to get dramatic. I, I'm trying out for a small role. <coughs> Would a child dial this? Yes, it's designed yes. to teach children to read. Yeah. It's child's play. Well, then, I think I've solved enough, haven't I? No, we have to find out who you're actually calling. Well, uh, to put it another way, you want to find out about the teacher, the voice. Oh, I couldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> sure you could. No. Get the I'll guy with a camera, he'll find out about her. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you anyway. I'll I'm do sure. something else. <laughs> and Chad, does, does what we have to find out about the teacher have to do with the fact that we might know the teacher? Is it someone who is in the public light? Uh, not in the no. sense in which I think oh, you mean. Uh, uh, then would it have to do with... The, uh, the background of the teacher or the subject matter? No. Mm -mm. Uh, would it have to do with the method that the teacher uses in teaching by this telephone system? Mm. That's a little closer to the truth, but still yeah. some distance from it. Yeah, it's uh, not really a warm, it's just lukewarm. Pardon? That's not really warm, it's just lukewarm. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend. <laughs> oh, I was just trying to help you out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I pass with, with graciousness. Gene Rayburn. Chad, the, the voice on the other end, when the child dials it, is it a uh, recorded voice? I mean, it's not a live person at the other end, is that correct? That's correct. That's correct, yes. So that uh, there's some kind, something about it is pre-programmed, and was it a human who made the, the sounds, those recordings? It was a human. Yes, it was. And is it someone whom we would all know? No, up until that no. question, Gene, you were, you were headed right for it. Thank well, you, Anita. W would it be someone that's close to you? No. Uh, it would not help you to know the identity of the person. And it wouldn't help me to know who it is. No. no. So we're not looking for who it is. I certainly hope you're not after well, all these suggestions to the contrary. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Watch, Gene. A member of the kid's family is on the other end of the recording. Is that no. Right? Maybe hmm. on one particular call. <laughs> anyway, Chad's secret, it's a kind of a tough secret for you to get. The teaching is done by a talking computer. That's oh, I can... I mentioned earlier that it is designed to teach children to read, so we're going to take the most childlike member of the panel. Anita, would you step over to the chair there, please? <laughs> Chad and I will meet you out there and try to teach you how to read, my dear. But will it teach you to play tennis, I mean? <laughs> How are we going to work this, uh, Chad? Well, we've got to set this up. These things are, uh, as I understand, are kind of set for a camera. So, uh, do we all move that one. and we all move this? And, okay. and what happens here is, is, the, is the computer will ask you to turn to a particular page yes, and Daddy. Ask, answer the question, see? Right, Daddy. And you answer the computer by using the numbers and the letters on a telephone. Oh. Yes. oh. And, and when you finish each answer, you press the green button. No, and wait a minute, I'm lost already. <laughs> All right, right. But, see, this is just like a typewriter. Yes. Okay, we got it. Not know that name. I don't Try know. it again. 
The name's Herbert Marshall. Okay, what you want to do is spell out your name. Spell out your name, dear. We're a little, we're a little short of time. Right. Right. Should right. I pick? No, you, you leave the phone down there. Just spell out your name. <laughs> a. We should have got a kid. I T A. A. Press the green button. Bong. Okay. Now the computer is looking up your records, and he's going to find your place in the lesson book. Two. Page number six. Oh, two. Page number six. Six. Okay. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, this is page yes. Type. <laughs> Type the letter K. Type the letter K. Yes. Push the green button. Okay. Look for the goat. Look for the Type the letter G. G. <laughs> K G I G. Green button. You forgot oh. the green button. Oh, sorry. I'm Good. sorry, ma'am. Turn <laughs> to page number 14. Page. Page 14. 14. Page 14. Page 14. Page 14. This is so complicated. And remember, a big child can do it in here. <laughs> Type the word was. That's four. Why misspell it? Was W. I S. E. Z. Green button. Green button. Oh, try it again. <laughs> okay, you weigh 119 pounds. No, try a new one. Look for the jam. Type the word jump. Jump. Type the word jump. Good. That was great. Time is up. Good. Ah. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Anita. Chad, that was a fascinating demonstration of a fascinating event. Thank you so much. Chad, uh, we'll be right back. I've Got a Secret returns after these words. Our thanks to Bell Laboratories for the use of that fascinating educational tool. Chad, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. We'll be seeing you soon. Good. Panel, thank you very much. Bye. Richard, Bye. Anita, Gino, to be here. Pat, see you all later. Bye-bye. Game Show Network and People Magazine have come together to create People Puzzle. It combines pop culture with crossword puzzles, color of the beret she wore. Raspberry. Don't beat them after midnight. Gremlins. Funny girl song and the best magazine of all time. People. You're going to want to play along. Trust me. Leah Rimini hosts People Puzzler. Weeknights at 6, starting Monday, January 18th. Only on.